Hello everyone, how's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful night. So, the first part of the Yakuza dual release, I would call it, Like a Dragon Gaiden launched today. It's supposed to be a prequel before Infinite Wealth comes out next year. I'm super excited for that. And even though the game has not launched with English dubs, it's only launched in with uh, Japanese voice acting, which is what a lot of people play Yakuza games for. I think the only time I've ever played the English dub version of the game was Like a Dragon, which was spectacular with Ichiban. But I believe that's the only one that had like really good English dub that they went the extra mile for. I don't believe Song of Life had it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about the entire history of Yakuza. I've just played the games like casually. I love them. But uh, Like a Dragon was the only game that I played from start to finish with English voice acting. I mean, would you count Lost Judgment and Judgment? I'm not really sure, but I do love Lost Judgment. That's my favorite combat system in the entire franchise. In fact, it's even better than the recent Like a Dragon Gaiden. I actually am not really a fan of the combat system, but maybe it'll get better. I'm still in the early stages of that game. But one of the biggest controversies is Yang Ye. And the reason is, is that he is going to do the English dub for Kiryo Kazume, who is the central figure for the Yakuza franchise. So a lot of people are not entirely happy about this. But at the same time, like I stated, a lot of people simply use the Japanese voice acting. I'm in the minority, I know, but I'm probably going to play with English dub. And there are a lot of reasons that people are annoyed by this. First off, Kiryo's within his 50 or 60 years of age, and Yang is within his late 20s, so they feel like it wouldn't match the character correctly. Uh, another reason is they feel like he doesn't have the experience, and then he started releasing, like, uh, showcasing how Kiryo will sound when the game releases, and a lot of people were not happy about this. Now, I did a video about it. I have stated, and I still stand firm about that, until the game releases officially with the voice work, it's all subjective. But it hasn't been really good for Yang Ye because he's starting to hide replies and block people, apparently. So if you come down here, there's this little icon right here where you can look at hidden replies, and we're going to click this and read it for the first time. So the first one, Kirio doesn't re, uh, redefine masculinity. He's a giant walking trope for it. And a Mary Sue. We all love Kirio, but he isn't an interesting character like Akiyame, uh, Tasusuno, or Ichiban. You have never played the games. Actually, he has played the games. In fact, he was one of the he was the main antagonist for the Kaido Files. So that's wrong. <laughs> Uh, sorry, bro, you should have not accepted that role. Um, I mean, it's a career-defining role. If you got a chance to play a major character in one of the most beloved franchises of all time, you gotta do it. It's But it's make it or break it. I've stated this in my previous video. This is a make it or break it role for him. Uh, blocked, what he uh, does he say? Um, blocked, okay. I'm not gonna go through the comments within comments because I feel like that's a rabbit hole. It's just an original announcement of the role that's pinned to his profile. Well, yeah, why wouldn't he pin that? That's like a huge accomplishment. Uh, R.I.P. the VA that put many screaming toddlers to bed. Um, I'm not sure what that means, but I mean, these hidden replies are not that bad. I mean, I don't know why he would hide them. Oh, Kirio's trending. We'll look at that later, but... Uh, here we see that this person was apparently blocked for this comment. You are the reason why I listen to subs. I hope AI replaces you. Now, um, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. I think the reason he blocked this person is because Yang Ye is very anti-corporate. He doesn't try to hide that. He really hates big corporations. And AI is extremely... Uh, AI is one of the biggest opponents when it comes to voice actors and especially actors because there's a lot of uh, people using AI to replicate the voices of acclaimed actors. Scarlett Johansson is actually suing a company uh, that used her likeness without her permission. Tom Hanks got into that the bandwagon. I believe it was like a toothpaste or some sort of dental equipment that was used in his likeness to uh, sell products. Uh, Joe Rogan also went through a huge controversy where people were using AI to sell very various products that he was not endorsing. Like even Trump has come out and stated that he's scared of it because he couldn't even tell the difference. And when you yourself can't tell the difference of something that you're looking at that's clearly you, uh, yeah, it's quite scary and I can understand why he would block this person. I don't think he should have. This is kind of an asshole thing to say, but at the same time, it's like... 
whatever like he's on youtube he's a huge content creator over a million subs a lot of people go to him for video game news so you know i'm sure he has his fair share of like assholey comments like this i've had my fair share in fact i've gotten a death threat for my assassin's creed walkthroughs someone said it was crappy i didn't like it i'm going to i'm not going to say the language of what he said but yeah, or he or she, I don't know, whoever. They send it through a sock puppet account. I just send it to the police and be like, hey, this person sent this. They probably file it away somewhere, but, you know, this thing is... I don't think the person should have been blocked for this. Like, I can see why he would block them because you're a voice actor, you're anti-corporate, AI is slowly becoming a very big issue for people in this field. So, I can see why. Because at the end of the day, they're people. Like, I feel like people forget that. They're people. Sometimes you have a bad day and that one thing that you would usually ignore just triggers you and you get really angry and you're just like, fuck it, I'm just going to block this person. Because at the end of the day, this is something that Upper Echelon Gamer actually said that I think applies to every platform, social media in particular. I'm going at a bit of a tangent, but it funnels back in. Is that none of these platforms are free speech platforms. They're private corporations. So if someone's annoying you or someone you don't like comments on your videos or your tweets or something like that, you're free to block them. You're free to hide their replies. You can do whatever you want um, because it's not a free speech platform. Just because you have free speech in America doesn't mean that everyone has to follow that. That's a federal law. It's not a social media law. I, I know I'm going I went on a bit of tangent there, but it's just something that you should probably, you know, apply to daily life just because social media just because you have the freedom of speech doesn't mean that it applies to everything. Like especially with social media. If someone wants to hide your comment, I'm sure I'm hitting on a lot of people's comments just because whatever. They're free to do it. Anyone's free to do it. And it doesn't become easier for young because now his karaoke performance has leaked online and let's just say a lot of people are not happy about it now i've watched it and i have to agree like it's not great Gr again granted uh, this is karaoke but the karaoke mini games have been a huge part within the yakuza games and yes karaoke is all about you know people who are not professional singers just singing because they want to have fun but a lot of people would argue that the singing within the Yakuza, the Judgment Games, they're good. Like, Kirio is a very accomplished singer. It's actually very well done. The karaoke games are one of the most popular mini games within these franchises. And, I, like, just you be the judge here. Just getting by on any scraps we can find. The hand that feeds means nothing to So you can see, and uh, let's actually look at the Kirio karaoke to just, you know, get a idea of the differences. This is a different one. Granted, this is Japanese, but, you know, I think it's still shoki. Well, actually, let's do English. Uh, I believe this is English. No. Um, so, unfortunately, I don't see any of the English versions, but um, at the same time, you can see the high quality karaoke songs that Kirio is usually, you know, known for singing, and it just doesn't compare well. So, I mean, it is still left up in the air. The game is still not finalized. It's still not out. So we can't really, you know, peg him as a terrible choice for Kirio. Again, my entire opinion on this is wait until the game is finalized. If it doesn't work out in the end, then you have an argument. Because at the point right now, yeah, I can see why people are definitely annoyed about this stuff because... Yeah, it's not exactly the best case scenario, but oof, man, I do not want to be in Young's shoes right now because right now he's the center of very a lot of backlash right now, and it's not going to be pretty. 
but when you voice a beloved character like Kirio Kazume, this is going to come with the whole job and I don't know, like I can't tell you how I would handle this because I don't deal well when I'm in the spotlight. I doubt I would be able to deal with it in, in its entirety because you never know until you're finally in this situation. But I would suspect that he has been because again he is a massive YouTuber but at the same time um, he should have expected this type of system. He shouldn't have just hidden replies or blocked anyone, just let everyone talk their piece even if it's negative, even if it rubs you the wrong way because at the end of the day if you don't allow people to talk their shit they're going to use it as primary sources for their own argument to make you look bad. I think that's the best way I can convey it because if you give them ammunition, even if it's the tiniest bit of trivial objection, they will run with it. Again, I'm not trying, I, I say again a lot, I'm not trying to, you know, be entirely on Yong's side. I do believe what he's doing, hiding any replies or blocking anyone for, you know, assholely comments but not something that's worthy of being blocked. I still think he's wrong for that. But at the same time, I also understand where he's coming from if he did do this. I'm just, you know, trying to create my own opinion based on what I'm seeing here. But tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd like to hear other people's opinions to get a better idea of other people, of how they think it. Um, it may open my mind and, you know, let me see something that I'm not seeing or maybe something I'm just not aware of. But let me know, uh, if you're playing like a Gr Dragon Gaiden, let, tell me how it is, if you're enjoying it, or if you're a fan of the Yakuza franchise. I love it, I think it's brilliant, you should definitely try it out. But the, that's the video, um, like, dislike, your choice, bye.